<laughs> Happy Monday. You are listening and or watching Pwncast. This is episode 88, and we are in patch 6.2.3. I am your Warlock host, Bell. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, not necessarily WoW news related because there wasn't a whole lot of that, uh, but we are going to talk about the class hall previews that have been rolling out slowly but surely, artifact weapon calculators including the new color picker, some of the colors are kind of weird, but it's whatever, uh, and we do have some surprise announcements uh, from a few members and some, some Pwncast news um, rolling out this episode, so make sure you stay right here. Warcraft trade chat. Troll-based offenses are considered especially heinous. In Azeroth, the dedicated players who call out these asshats are members of the lead squad known as the Pwncast Podcast. These are their stories. Welcome back. I did bring the Riders of Rohan with me. Uh, I did bring the mage who got another job. Again. <laughs> I, uh... I did. I did. Uh, these guys finally called me back, and I have applied for them multiple times, and this time they called me back, and they're ready to make a deal. So I went in, did the interviews, got the job, and uh, definitely a life changer for me. Uh, I've already been there for a week and a half now, and I absolutely love it. Love the job. Love the people. People are great, and uh, plan on staying there. Nobody loves so. the people. I know. Well, they're really cool at the moment. They're really cool. So they're the completely opposite of what I just came from. So you were you were page portaling for a living, right? That was I. I was. I was. Well, I'm still doing Uber. I still I do Uber after work. Uh, he does that for the, the second I, of money. <laughs> I do. I do. You gotta you gotta make that. You gotta make the Benjamins. So I still make that on the side. So I got a bunch of money coming in here and there. Uh, nice. So I'm very excited about that. We did also bring the Death Knight who had his mount ninja by a stranger. Oh, wait. It wasn't a stranger. Lycan. I, you know, I, I, I consider this man a friend. And and as I've said numerous times, no, no. I consider this man a brother uh, for those who know us. And I, of all people to steal a mount off me, I, I, I just... I was dumbfounded. So you get a whisper from your 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 buddy, your friend, and your your brother, and he goes, "Hey, what are you doing next?" Because I was just getting done with doing my uh, invincible run, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm probably going to Dragon Sword." Goes, oh, dude, can I go with you? Because I need the Blazing Drake. I'm like, "Sure, come on." Even had it on screenshot and everything. So here we go. We're in Dragon Soul, and we get all the way up to Spine. Um, he felt so bad at Spine that I had to kick him out of the raid to do it by myself. Come back in. He still was able to loot, and he was trying to do his best to, to, you know, you have that one minute before they actually get ported out of the dungeon. He was doing his best to try to wipe me anyway. Get to the madness of Deathwing, and lo and behold, not the Blazing Drake dropped, but the Handmaiden dropped. One that I've been mounting on for two years now, so 104 weeks, and I didn't get it because somebody decided to ninja loot it off me. I, hello, a, do you know who that would be? Son of a bitch That's would a terrible do that. person to do that. I don't even have who, a who is this? I would, I would who is this? Some he's a terrible shit. person. Let's I, just talk about I, that. I think he's a, I, I heard he's from New Zealand. I'm pretty sure I need a, Canada. I need a name. Carl T. Phineas. Carl T. Phineas, I repeat. I, Still trying to reach that mic that's about right here. Carl, yeah, I, I, I think we should leave the name of that person till the end of the show. I did not hear the story. Keep it FYI for the fans. I am in the dark. No, so. I, book. I don't know who would have stolen off me. Do you know book? No, no, I, I really have no idea. But I think I'm it's from. Moving, I moving think right it's along. I'm pretty sure it's, it's bloke. Freaking, I'm gonna go uh, with this bloke, and I will crucify him for you. <laughs> I did I had... also bring the. Uh, <laughs> I did also bring the shaman who ninja a stranger's mount. Oh wait, he didn't. It was not a stranger. <laughs> Huge bloke. <laughs> See what oh! happened was, I had never at one any point said that I wouldn't roll on it. Uh, 
No, it was me being a trying to be a smart ass and like, ha ha ha, this would be real funny if I like roll on it and then it gives it to me and then I'll just like trade it over and be like, there, there's Except your Except he learned it real quick so that he couldn't do that. Well, That's what no, he's leaving I, out. He's I, like, oh, fuck it, you. I'm, I'm, I'm learning this was, real fast. It was more so a case of once it's in my bag and then you like hold the mouse over it and there's no like you can still trade it thing. I'm like, oh, well. Guess it's mine now. Learn. Those drops that you can, you can actually trade afterwards for that two-hour period, the ones from the Dragon Soul, you cannot. Yeah, that that was that was not one of them. So uh, I had people but, watch. We did this, mind you, on stream. Now, when people <laughs> say, why doesn't Bell do mount runs with people? Everybody always offers. They're like, hey, I'll run with you. No. There's no friendship when it comes to mount rolling. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'll totally give it to you. When the time comes... And it's in front of your face. We know that at the end of the day, those friends are still going to be there, whether we learn it or not. So we're just going to go all in and we're just going to do the thing and the stuff because there's no friendship. It all is fair and love and mounts. People are going to be like, wow, Belle, you're a bitch. I'm not a bitch. I'm honest. I'm literally 100% honest. So yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I There's no, there's no all is fair and love and mounts. That's the way that it works. And that's why I don't do so, mount runs with anybody. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. So I've been on mount runs before with like, and with Bella saying, uh, I've been with uh, multiple of them of them with with your husband and uh you know i've always taken the people closest to me because i know that they wouldn't still amount and none of you guys have ever stole a mount from me and to hear that one of the pwn cast members stole one is Wait a, minute. a shock you, you don't get any closer than than a brother I agree. Here's the thing, I would though. You, when oh, you say it, stolen, uh, if we're in a group and there's a role situation, it's not exactly stolen because you had a gentleman's no, agreement, right? A gentleman's time, agreement. Yeah. When I went, when I when I've ever asked uh, uh, Dark Dark Nato to come help me in my quests, I always said I'm going for this mount, and we always just go to go. He would totally take roll. it. It just never dropped. If it dropped, he would steal it from you. All is fair. It and did drop. No, 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 we've no. had mount wars. We 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 we've had mount runs, and I've gotten Wait my mount, but no one's ever rolled on it. But your husband has even dropped a mount, and it was the, the mount off Ragnaros. And guess what he did? He just good man. You can have it, and nothing was ever said again. That's because he's not a mount collector. <laughs> the lesson we can all the lesson we can all take away from this, my friends, you is don't trust is huge very world. clear about what the rules are. I never said I wasn't gonna roll on it. I said I was coming for the blazing drake, but I never even mentioned the life finders. Where well, are you going I, after uh, Arthas? D S or Firelands? D S and I'll come for the blazing. That's exactly see, see, I never said at the end of that that I wouldn't roll on the life bar. This is why I can't. You should, even... you should feel really proud, I man. Think... I've never ninja looted anything in my life, and that's about as close as I've come. And so you I... should feel honored that it was from you. <laughs> I think the fans should comment on this. Tell us what you uh, think. In Do the you comments. feel it was all fair and love and mounts, or uh, would you set him on fire, folks? Tell us. <laughs> comment below and tell us what you think. Or we, both. Really. We did also bring. <laughs> uh, we did also thanks bring for, the the boomkin. Speaking of mounts, we did bring the boomkin who has a fancy new leak mount. I do. I do. So, uh, just. I'm one of the perks with the new home is we go back and clear old mythic content. One of those is mythic black end, and um, I managed to win the big old uh, black hand rhino mount with the furnace and the, all the nice pretty stuff. And it's amazing. <laughs> so <laughs> you say that like mythic black hand is old content. It's not really old. I mean, it, it's not. Old, it's just not current. So you know, leap guild. With sorry, person sorry, we didn't clear places. it the first week it was released. Our bad. I mean, that's that's where I would like to be in the long run. But you know, that was my second kill of him, and I'm technically one of thirteen or one out of however many in BRF mythic, and my one kill is black hand. So. Yep. Just clap for yourself. I did a knee slap. I can't even understand. Knee slap. I'll clap for him. I don't, I don't even know. So I am really trying hard to be in a super good mood. Those of you guys at home don't understand, but everything's been going wrong the last couple of weeks. My computer, I'm not on my normal computer. I'm on my laptop. Bertha, look at Bertha over here. This 
Bertha is being a slut and is refusing to do what the fuck she needs to do for me. So I go and buy thermal paste and I broke pins. Stuff happened. Replace parts. Everything's freezing. Nothing. Nothing's awesome. Bloke is melting. His internet's melting as we speak. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's Who's been pretty fun? rough. Who's Fraba? Okay. Who's Fraba? So now let's get into what the meat and potatoes of the show is going to be. Keep in mind, I want you guys to stay tuned because there is going to be some... Again, things. with the meat and potatoes. There, I know. I always say that. There's going to be some things later that are going to be talked about, announced, discussed, whatever. Uh, so make sure you guys stick around for that because some the times, they are a-changing, folks. They are a-changing. All hell is going to break loose uh, shortly. So yep. the next event, the Drainer Dungeon event, is ending. Um, it's actually ending today as of this recording. Um, and the pet battle event is going to be the one that's up next. So make sure you get in there and do that. Or as I like to call it, the we don't see Lycan for a week. Yeah, we don't even see him. We don't even know if he's even breathing alive and or (laughs) if he's around anywhere, to be perfectly honest. So, yeah, we don't ever know. Um, So a couple things. They released the... They're added to the artifact calculator. um, And in addition to the artifact weapon calculator for Legion, they released the color picker. So, okay, this is great, the colors. Um, It's, you know, it's your standard red, which is not really red to me because it looks like, I don't know, it doesn't look red. And then there's your your baby poop green and then your fell green because you had two different, you know, it's like an olive green, but it's like baby poop, like pea soup green. Your blue, your teal, your purple for the shadow fallen, um, and then your, your magenta. I don't know. What did you guys, how do you feel about these colors? I don't know that this was what I envisioned when I thought of the color picker. Go ahead. Nah. Kind of lame, right? I'm 50-50 with it. I'm like, yay, we get to pick colors. And on the other hand, I'm like, yay, we get to pick pretty average colors. (laughs) (laughs) I know, there's no pizzazz, there's no... There's there's nothing that screams out, like, that... Like, they're all really, really standard. And I honestly, I can't see them making that much of a, a difference to what it is that you're changing the color on. Like, I don't know. I'm not impressed. It's very lackluster is the word I'm going to go for. I just recently learned what lackluster meant. Uh, oh, really? Oh, look at you go, little champ. I, because I didn't understand the saying. People would say it and it didn't make sense. And obviously, I know what luster is and I know what lacking luster is, but I don't know why people would say that. Why didn't you just say it sucked balls? Why do you have to say shit like lackluster? Why do we have to be because different? There's why can't you just be place. normal? Because sometimes I can't say things like that. Oh. There's a time and a place for lackluster, and there's a time and a place oh. for shit church balls. on Sunday and the sermon's not really that great and you'd be like mm, this is a bit lackluster I blame Mike hey, he's, he's, he's the sermon giver he's the giver of things and sermons and stuff I don't think my congregation going on you know, I understand this, this this sermon does suck, suck balls but I, I, I don't think they would actually go <laughs> I would say that to my pastor or person of, of standing at the top giving me religious advice and stuff I would say listen this sucks ass can we not I mean if you want to go to your warlock trainer and say that all you want to, but I, mm-hmm. as I know you ain't going to know a pastor to say it. It's <laughs> because I'm not allowed in churches anymore. It's not my fault. She I don't intend for she them. She doesn't to, like to wear shoes, guys, I don't in like church. To wear pants, let's be honest. Yeah. And you have yeah, to, pants apparently you can't go into any kind of a, a temple or church or Jehovah Witness place. Apparently you can't do any of that without any pants. It's considered yeah. <laughs> the United Church there, of there, Bacon. I just want to that one sex, but yeah. Yeah, I'm apparently I'm just not I'm not fit for any kind of religious conformity. Although I do have a great amount of religious faith, apparently I'm not allowed to. I, unless, I you know who would accept me? Tom Cruise would accept me. I could go to the Scientology place and I could be part of that creepy cult people who believe in weird shit. It's true. You could. Yeah. Hey, if I was like an, if I found out if I found out what church each bloke was going to, I would always send him the picture of him still in that mount and be like, <laughs> "Look, this is straight up Kick him out of How your church. How churchy was that? That was not a yeah. church act. Well, yes, yeah, very churches, not nice person. Churchy. I go to the Church of Gul'dan. Is that a church? Gul'dan. Church it's the only one you need. The Church of Bacon, I agree. It's, <laughs> it's a solid, a, it's a solid I, I feel like Shaman they serve a lot of Mountain Dew. Says. So, Did you see that calendar I sent you over, over Facebook there, Heathblow? 
You saw that. You commented on that. Yeah. Potts oh, and good. I and Dark went to Best Buy to get some thermal That's paste. That's not a church either. For, I know. Well, we went to Best <laughs> oh. Buy earlier to get thermal yeah. paste uh, for Bertha here because I needed to, to check the thermal paste. And I need to pull the processor out. So we go to, you know, we go to get thermal paste. And in the car, of course, what are we talking about? We're talking about World of Warcraft because that's how we do. And we're talking about the talent calculator, the talent tree for the artifact weapons. And Hots brings up a pretty, pretty good thing that I thought would be a really interesting topic for us to talk about. So he was under the impression that they're not going to be bringing the artifact weapons into an expansion beyond Legion, which that's actually never been said. And we were talking about how uh, Hots was saying, why are they or aren't they? I'm kind of banking that they are, and I'm going to tell you our discussion that occurred about it. So each expansion, there's this thing that we go after the entire expansion, right? We spend our whole expansion doing bullshit to get to other bullshit to get to other bullshit just to get the main bullshit that you have to have if you're Elite Raider because if you don't have it, then you can't do the other bullshit, right? It says that on the back of the it game. Does. It does. <laughs> so in our case, in MOP, the bullshit was what? It was that fucking cloak, right? You had to have that damn cloak. You didn't have oh. that cloak. Everybody looked at you and laughed because they knew you didn't have the damn cloak. And you, they were like, ha ha, you can't get into it. And then if you had it and didn't upgrade it, you're even more of a loser. Yeah. So yeah. you, we spent the whole – then this whole expansion, we've been chasing after the screen. And we've been chasing Garona and Gul'dan and all this other fucking bullshit. I did not get the ring. I boycotted that ring. I got it, and it's a lovely ring. I love the proc. I have the last version of it, and it's amazing. I, the proc is quite lovely. But every expansion, and then what happens the following expansion? We go through all this, and it's it's worthless. Literally, you could just set it on Get fire at this point. thrown in the bank or destroyed. And yeah, it's, the it's nothing. There's nothing you're gaining from it. Well, so you can still use the cloak to jump the bridge to go You don't need the cloak. Them. You don't have to have the cloak. Nope. Oh, well, you don't, you don't even have the cloak, cloak was it, anymore. Right, yeah. right. Was it was a transmog at the time where you could it make your, your cape, it made the cape look really cool. The little the wings. Yeah, because you off. couldn't transmog it. You were forced with that cloak, so everybody knew you had your legendary. It was a thing. You were... You yep. were the, you know, you were standing the, around all of a sudden. Whoa. You were the guy. <laughs> so, what if? Oh, it did look impressive. What if this weapon situation is a way for them to test something permanent in game? Look, Maybe look, just like I said before, something. just like I said before, you know, there's there's no blueprints for this. Agreed. And and they are going to try it, and I think it's a Agreed. great idea. And if it's not, we're going to find out within a year from now when we start using it. We're going to realize well, we hate it. We hate having the same the same staff. We don't like upgrading it. Maybe it's too hard. Maybe it's too much achievements. Maybe they maybe they don't do what they said they were going to do with it. Sargeras. I can't imagine there's ever. I know. Like and, staff. I said at level 100, the turns should always get a log. They're not going to get it, but I thought they they, they, they should have got the log, uh, just just like, like Karen. Like the Yule log? And the the log. log? What the, log are we talking about? The, the totem? No, it's not a totem. All turns or just certain classes? For, for their weapon. Oh, I mean, obviously, the warrior or the... The whatever. What I, significance I, is a log to a Torrin? I don't do Karen, that. Karen, Karen. That's the difference. We, I always wish that Turin, because in, in, in the original Warcraft games, the Turin always attacked with that. Oh, okay. And, so I don't, I don't know anything and, about this. And we were never given that in World of Warcraft. And I thought at level 100, we would have got it. Okay, I didn't know it was a totem. It's a glory. That's a huge totem. I didn't know that. I was like, who but it doesn't look like a totem. Log, it's a like a log. It's, a, it's like a tree stump to me. So it's a shaman it's, totem then? No, to, it's in the game, it's, 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 it's a tree stump. It's a weapon. Yeah. It's a turn weapon that all Turin used in all the Warcrafts, except for World of Warcraft. And so uh, that's what I was expecting. Either way, if they were to give that, I would rather – I'd like to have uh, whatever, whatever weapon they choose my class to have, and it looks cool. I'd like to have that for at least two, three expansions from now. I, yeah, I would, and I would like to see them it. grow the power, grow the change, so would I. modifications to it. Um, there was a, there's a game that I used to play where it took on physical modifications with each stage of upgrade. Um, yes. which is pretty legit. You would take it, you would accumulate all these things, and you would go and you would you would upgrade it. The cool thing about that, actually, which is not World of Warcraft related, but when you would upgrade it, it had a chance of breaking your weapon completely, and you had to go get another weapon and a new thing. You had to go get all these other things to upgrade, and there was a chance that when you went to your little table and you put it in this little transmodification unit and it's upgrading and it went to the next stage, that it would break, and it happened to me quite a few times. It's quite annoying. Well, what but, she's actually talking about is uh, Clash of Can. No, I'm, well, I'm talking about a game called Red Moon, which Android is not, not. but the Red Moon was the first MMO I ever played. It was the original one that, that I ever played. So. That sounds like an original MMO right there. Yeah, that it was really nice better. because you had that, ooh, is it going to break? Is it going to work? Yeah. Mm. And then if it broke, then you had to start all over, which pissed a lot of people off, but it kept people, it kept mm -hmm. you kind of in the know. But in, I, I think that we're, we're looking at something that they're, they're testing the waters to see if it's going to be. And they may even change basis. it, even if they give it to us. 
they may even change the whole the whole idea of it if it starts going downhill instead of keeping Ashran like Ashran, keeping the garrisons the way garrisons were. They can switch how we use our weapons in the future. And, and the, ta the talent trees too for it. They're bringing mm -hmm. something back um, that yeah. was, was highly loved. <laughs> Hot said something in the car about no chance, and I was like, "Fuck you! I love my enchants." And he's like, "No, that's not what I meant." Yeah, like a little, it was like the, a, um, the the chance, chance of loot dropping for um, the RNG. The, yeah, the RNG factor for PVE and part of PVP now. It's ooh boohoo! I went weeks without getting what I needed. Boohoo! Q Q well, price no, more. It's, oh. This is this is the issue with it. It's it's no longer a catch-up mechanic. It's he's crying about me, it because his DK is trying to hurry up and get Ray ready, ready, and he's pissed off that he's not getting his drops. Well, really, I, it's, it's it if the the way they've had it from like I was saying from Kata and previous, they always had a catch-up mechanic that was guaranteed. Now, what do we have? We have Belful. Eh, that's not exactly. Bail, not gonna, Bell. Bell, 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 Bell. So I think you said it right the it, first time. That that's nice. That that's good. But we have three different tiers of raid now. We have LFR heroic, or LFR normal, heroic, and mythic. So four actually. I'm just, so if I'm a mythic raider and my guild needs a DK, let me spend two months. To gear a DK. Oh, you gotta work. Oh my right. God. But, but, oh, you're a fucking hold on. PVP. -er. Hold on. Gonna, let's hold talk on. about. Let's he talk has about a choice. To fucking PVP. -er. It's true. I, I know. We can't. Well, there's two different things. <laughs> I've had but, to do it when I was but, asked to swap. I've had to do it. I don't. Yeah, but no, you don't, you don't have to do anything. And you get no the one. Gear. No one is forcing no you to question. make another tune. No, he's right. You're no one forced you to do that. That's your own bullshit. Don't okay, cry about so it. This is what's great no about one... MMOs, RPGs, is you have to work on every one of your tunes. Okay, That's what so made I it great. Two months and I don't get something, or a PGP. I spend two I agree. weeks Far with the same amount of effort. No, nope. hold on. Let me finish. No, two months to get the morphine staff. Let me let let me finish. So I spent two months. I did. Let me. I spent two months. Trying to get gear for my DK, right? Right. I don't get enough to get the mythic. Our team has to have a DK because of mechanics put nope. in. We nope. have to have DK. Nope. It's time to find another another guild. For the strategy that we're gonna use, <laughs> we okay. have to use. It's time two to find DKs. a guild where their DKs don't get banned from. Now body. I can go put <laughs> the same amount of effort playing eight hours a day <laughs> and be so fully easy. PVP geared in seconds. Well, it's not a good comparison no, to PvP gear. you get conquest geared in seconds. Bullshit, bite me. No, I don't seconds. need conquest no. gear. No, we're not. Gear. You're we're not comparing that. I just need, I need something no. to you just carry said. me over from if, heroic to mythic. But you just right. need the same amount of effort. Full PvP geared in seconds. That's not accurate. Yes, you did. I never said that you it has to be can conquest. Get it. PvP yeah, gear is conquest. honor or conquest. Only scraps wear honor gear, dude. It's exaggerated a little bit. If you're not fully conquest right now, how are you doing in RBGs? You're horrible. You don't have. You do not have a hundred percent conquest from head to trinket. I agree. You're trash. You're so you're not fully you. PvP geared. I agree. So how are you doing RBGs? I agree with because you. Because you're fully PvP geared at the moment. That's what I'm saying. You're arguing, if I, you're arguing the wrong story, bro. I'm, no, I, no, no. If I'm not fully PvP geared. If gear. I want to take a PvE side of that, I have to run Mythic Dungeons. Okay, right. I have a chance a chance for 685 gear going all the way up to potentially 725. I have to get it to drop, and then I have to have it go up more. But I'm the not argument saying, is invalid, though, because you should have a invalid? main. You're, you have a I main. I have a main. And it's probably geared. Our, if, if we don't need geared. a boomkin. But it's geared, though, right? Yes. No, no. But if yeah. we have to. So have, if they want something else, why tank? should you feel obligated? Need a tank. Let me ask you this, then. Because How I, fair my... would it be for people to just easily swap to whatever the fuck they wanted to without working for it? How yep. fair would that be? Yeah. If I just decided one day I don't want to raid on Bell. I never said you have to work for it. But if I want to spend eight hours in a dungeon or running dungeons, I should be at least to have something. So you're saying the reward should be increased then? Yes, I'm just saying that if you're going to put a 780 for... Yeah, if I'm going to get a chance for 685 gear. Why well, can only get a chance for it once? That makes sense. So no, why either. not put something later on, like a reward system, like Valor, where I can Whoa. buy gear that I worked for? 
Whoa. Wait. Hold the fuck on. Go ahead. Let's How many times speak. do we sit here on this show and hear you whine and cry <laughs> and complain about how they're handing out gear and they're <laughs> oh my God, he the said it. He went there and giving there. this and getting that. And when I, back in my day, it was so much harder to work for your gear. And <laughs> now yeah, I'm sitting here difference. because you see the difference of working from the other side. Now you're going, that's the oh, difference. So much oh, Hello, so when it's from the other side? No. When it's convenient for you, no, it's okay. Now, if I, now I'm putting in the same amount of effort as I used to. And now I have nothing to show for it. Mm. Can I just make one really quick so, observation? And right. it's not, I can go run normal and I can go run her. But isn't I've that been, what keeps you I going back go to the instance? Sure. Isn't that what keeps, what gets it's you going back? Is yes, because you like I that just, part of the not, game. I've done. Quick. Yes. That's what hooked us on this game. The what problem is, is when you have too many alts and you try to do the same thing on all the alts, you will go insane because you don't right. always get that drop. Sometimes you won't even get your pants or your weapon. The whole tier set, you will never get your weapon. Because I don't like pants, but I mean, that's probably... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, when, hey when, when I was a raider, sometimes you don't get the armor for the whole tier set. And you're like, I never got my weapon the whole time. And I did every raid every week and I never got it. So were you and saying that sometimes you, that happens. You're saying specifically to dungeons, you want to see more come out of the dungeon aspect, the mythic dungeons. Because you can only get that once a week is what you're telling me, right? Yeah, it's their catch-up mechanic right now is crap. It's that's what I'm trying to say. From Kata, I could run or in Kata, you could run those three dungeons all day long and you would eventually get geared. It took all fucking day to get every single piece I from that gun dungeon. I don't think you should have a catch up mechanic for PvP or PvE. I don't think there should be one. That's my personal I totally opinion. agree with you. I totally agree. Because that's the way the people liked it in the beginning. That's the way we've always done it, and now they're changing it. And, and I'm totally against no, it. They've always had a catch up mechanic. That's but I don't problem. think that they should. I think it handicaps. I 100% hey, think it handicaps and dilutes. It's it. more now than it's ever been, Hots. It's that, more now than it's ever they're been. They're giving shit away, literally. Yes, they're. No, I, I will agree. That crystals. They, I will God. agree that there is a way to get geared. And the way that you get geared is a metric fuck ton of grinding. But it's. Which you don't have to do, unless you have a main, and you play on your main, and well, then you can you even get use your, your main gear. To, you can use and use your main to gear up your alts now, right? With the Pexy crystals, you can. It's true. It's true. So it's the issue is is there's no there's more no gear, guarantee. more gear. That's what he's complaining no, about. No, What's no more, more gear? More gear. <laughs> I don't want more gear. Instead of having a thousand ways to get somewhat geared. Bring it back more to a focal point. Let me run heroic dungeons and get like grind valor all day to get gear to step into a raid. Hated Not grinding this valor. Fucking... That's why they took it out. Everybody complained because all we had to do was grind valor. Everybody was sick of the fucking shit. Tired yeah, of grinding. Getting bad. So what are you doing now? Running around to Nan and fucking farming. A That's Pexy better crystal? than running the same bullshit dungeons twenty fucking times a it's day. It's the because same you dailies valor. every day. Can... It's the Can you same guys keep this going a little bit? <laughs> you know what's great? Can I t the viewers at home, listen, you guys are listening and watching, and sometimes I think you guys take us too seriously. Hots is our favorite person to get riled up. Between Hots and Fryza, a heart attack comes. <laughs> Literally, oh. he's the easiest. Fryza, did they tell you what I did last week? No. So oh, last yeah. week, I pretended to be you because we were talking about the PvP changes in Legion, and I totally, like, wigged shit and totally pretended to be you. <laughs> and they were like, it was. It caused such a shitstorm, and at the end, I was like, "Just kidding, guys." I was just, you know, I don't give a shit. I was just pretending to be Fryza because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hilarious. It was so funny. Oh, oh, that's so, great. That's Hots great. gets all riled up, and we know exactly what to say to him. And I'm, I'm cheating because I knew he wanted to talk about this earlier because he gave me this exact thing in the car when we were driving. So I kind of. I'm gonna say. I knew exactly I'm gonna what say. He I'm going to say he's right and wrong. He is. I, I agree. my best answer. I, I, it's, I, I will say that it is a hard line to It is. It's a very hard between line. Between those two. Not, because you don't want someone Look, going. Look, are you eating? You don't want go, someone going straight into I have no power mythic. here. I have no power here. I told him on the messages you know, not to. You know to. what? You know what? We don't eat, eat on popcorn. this show. Because I haven't got any fucking popcorn, so I'm just. I'm eating some cheese. It looks right? like meow love... mix is what it looks like. It looks it like meow mix. No place in I think he's trying to. Whatever. I think he's trying to eat away the shame from stabbing his friend in the back. <laughs> it's I got your back, Lycan. I got your back, Lycan. Because I, I did it. I haven't got any popcorn, and this argument has no bearing on me whatsoever. Because I don't <laughs> play. Like if I don't get, if I don't get the gear, or don't get the achievement, or don't get the legendary, or don't get the conquest gear. 
tough titties. That's that's my work schedule. That's my life schedule. Like hey. I don't have that kind of time. So I'm I'm quite comfortable in the fact that I will never get the stuff. So I don't necessarily need a, con- a catch up mechanic. That being said, I appreciate the catch up mechanic when I I do have the time for my. But own. LFR, LFR, you're guaranteed one piece, so right? For for no. Nope. Is that gone? That's is nope. that gone? Yeah, that's I that's ran through okay. all bars all last week. I think I got one piece here's, out of all four. Here's uh-huh, Fraser, Fraser makes a good point. I'm going to tell you this point that he made when he talked about mains. I see this all the time in my guild. There's a lot of people that have lots of alts. And I feel like what happens when you have lots of alts, it's really, really hard for you to become the master of that class. How can you be the authority on one specific thing if you're not the master of that class? It's really difficult to – there are some people that I know can easily swap from class to class right. to class for a lot of things. I know that's just inherent. I have a PvP friend. Literally, this guy could fucking PvP on anything, literally, and know it all instantly. I do believe that there are those people that are like that. But I think so that's That's rare. It's yeah, rare. what's inherent and important to this game is you mastering that one, right? You're the master of one. Because if you're mm-hmm. the master of many, at the end of the day, you're the master of none. You, you don't know. I mean, uh, on the whole, you, you want to master one. That needs to be your I identifier, agree. right? Everybody knows me. I'm the warlock. Especially I, in an MMO. It's it's huge in I MMO with millions of players. I, like Cody, or Hots, he has to roll a DK because his DK in his guild got booted for banning, or botting. Sorry, you got banned for botting, fucker. But whatever. So now that's what he's been asked to do. So now what we're expecting is we're expecting to instantly be able to step in, and all the heavens are going to part because uh, we now have to roll an alt, and we have to do all these things. Sorry, you have to work just as hard on your alt as you do your main because that's the purpose of playing this game. Things shouldn't just be readily handed to you. And I'm not even in PvP. I don't agree with catch-up mechanics in PvP either. Now, Mm -hmm. here on the side of that coin, Hots, I feel you. I started playing my Monk Healer in in Raid because I thought maybe maybe I want to try to see if I can heal instead of just only DPS. I can't DPS on another character because I... It's my lock, man. That's just, I can only DPS on her. I can't. I've tried other DPS classes. I have to be on my warlock for that. But I can heal. I started doing LFR. I started doing Tananjong. I started doing all this shit because I we're in heroic now and I'm not ready for heroic. I got frustrated last week because I'm like, Jesus, I got to do all this stuff to get caught up. However, my problem, I made the choice to swap to the tune that I am not maining. I made the choice to go through all these things. So while I do completely understand and I agree uh, that is frustrating – that, you know, the rewards are not worth the risk and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, Blizzard gives you a choice. You can either stick to your main, which is where you've done the majority of your grinding. I don't think there should be any kind of let's just throw gear at you because it's easy. How would they know it's not your main? They have no way to balance. If you're on your alt, Blizzard doesn't know you're on an alt to know that you should be getting more gear for that alt quickly. Blizzard doesn't know that. So, unfortunately, if they were to give you a catch-up mechanic per se, then that would mean the people that are on their mains, they're not grinding and, and working hard for it. It's being thrown at them to appease the people that are altaholics. At this point, that's the basis of what it breaks down to. We talk about on the show all the time how come PvP has to affect PvE and vice versa. Why should the fact that you need to roll an alt and gear it quickly affect the fact that I'm on my main and I don't want the gear thrown at me, I want to work for it? At the end of the day, it's balance, and that's where it breaks down. Cool. If they introduce catch-up mechanics for you, there's no hard work for people that are on their mains because we're in line with that catch-up mechanic because shit's just being thrown at me. I can step into Mythic Dungeons every week, fully gear out, and not have to work hard at all whatsoever. I can be geared out in, what, two weeks? Not fair. So I understand why they're doing it, although I understand your side. They have shown a way to do it, and it's what they did with the ring now, If once you complete one stage with it. So they, they could possibly implement that, but at the same time, Better looking at it from that... Better expansion, crybaby on ketchup. Better expansion, crybaby on ketchup. Looking at I, think it was that, I, exp- I think it was a great but explanation, from Bowser. That, yeah, from that point of view, I can I can see it working out a little bit better, and it's one of those, like, I should probably try to keep more than one tune Like, geared. adequately geared. Yeah, up, right? so just kind of step up. And if someone but, says, I need a rogue, tell yeah. them, uh, go find one. <laughs> but my, so it, my, with no hots, you have a good you have a good idea there because we have two people in the guild that do that. Your girlfriend's yeah. one of them. She yeah. equally gears her tunes every week. So if she doesn't in, like if yeah if she runs Richard if she runs with our <laughs> trade progression on one tune she's pugging the same tier on another tune and she I don't know how the fuck she does it literally I have no idea how she does it. But yeah. she keeps pretty much most of her tunes are equal eye level because she this she does that. She's got your tools. The time to do it. 
yeah, and she's, she, but she's yeah. also like that, like you were saying, she's that one person that can jump into any tune and go, she boom, really I'm can. ready to play it. Oh, she really can. She's one of those people that's super talented like that. She can jump into any class and uh, minus some small missteps, she really knows what she's doing. But that's what, what Hots is saying, and that's, that is a good way to not have that frustration. Have a melee geared, have a healer geared, and have a DPS geared so that you have that easily, you know. See, so what, well, what you'll see, you should have a side. druid that you shouldn't. <laughs> You should be able to play catch up on gear. Like if you I, want I just gotta pat myself on the back. Yeah. Well, sorry, go ahead, Blood. Sons of bitches. <laughs> um, so what you, what, yeah, what you're basically saying is that if you want to play alts, then you either dedicate the same amount of time so they all get the same gear and all get the same progression and all get the same achievements and same things, or don't do it at all. I tend to disagree with it because if that, that that's one method of playing the game. So having a dedicated main with a whole bunch of vaults. But that's like what we were saying last week with multiboxing or in the case of like neutral pandas or um, the WoW challenges, like the Iron Man challenges. They're all different avenues of playing the game that don't necessarily conform to the norm. And, and Blizzard really have to try and cater for all the different play styles. They can't, yeah. they can't and... keep focusing on the same stuff that they've been doing because the player bases are changing. They're getting older, they're getting younger, they're different, people got different times to play. They they're trying to cater for Yeah, everything. but that's what that's what made us fall in love with this game was the fact that we had to work for everything. And I'm not saying Hots is doing this, but I'm saying people are going on the forums yelling at Blizzard to get to get better drops, better this because of the way they play and the people who've been playing this for years are not on the forums screaming out, you know, we want change, we want change. Well, it's the new people who come from console games and they come to this game and they want to make it into a console game where you can just earn stuff daily and that's that's crap and that's what I, that will kill this here's, game. Here's my problem with with every this whole conversation is that and this is exactly what Hots, I'm sorry, it's exactly what you're doing. You're chasing the numbers. If you dedicate your time to your character, then I'm sorry, any character, any class, any spec can be viable in that raid. And I don't care if we're talking from LFR to Mythic. Leets don't call think me like that, though. Like, in Leets are very problem. much about, I need this right now, and this is what we need. You know how right. their, their mindset is because but they it have it wasn't his seen... idea but to go to times... Death Knight. That wasn't his but idea. See, that's the problem, though. How no, many but... times have you seen people say, look, we, we can't use your death light or we can't use your, sorry, your boom can because it your doesn't do the numbers. Your death is not there. viable in PvP. Right. You've yeah. proven that wrong. I <laughs> Who proven, would say that? You know, <laughs> I've proven, you know, with the whole disc, plus, disc priest back in Wrath. I was running my disc priest through Heroic 25-man ICC. And, and they said, you have to run him disc. I said, no, I want to run him holy. I do much better healing. No, you have to have a disc priest on Lich King. Bullshit. You did not have to have a disc priest on, on Lich King. But it's just to prove the point that people are chasing the numbers. They look at their DPS, and then they'll look at somebody like me. And I'm not an elitist by any means, but when I walk into a raid, and I am undergeared by sometimes 10 to 15 points by some of these other raiders, and I'm pulling number two, number three DPS, it is because I've mastered my race, or my, my class, I've mastered my spec. Mm -hmm. He did not tunneling and, the fuck out of the boss. And here, no, and here's the thing too. I actually just went through a conversation with uh, Frosty, which is one of our writers on the PDQ, and we were talking about the World Frost and how I never use Obliterate because Obliterate just uses up that Frost rune, and I think the DPS would be much more be better well spent using it on Plague Strike to burn that one single Plague, plague rune than having to worry about it also eating up a Death rune. Or you know, not, so I'm, we're talking about this. So I went back to the drawing board. I stripped everything down. I checked IC veins. I checked Ask Mr. Robot. Started doing some gear optimization because I had the class, I got the class trinket, and I started running some numbers. Then I went and I hit a freaking target dummy, and I stayed on that goddamn target dummy for what? I think I worked on my numbers for two hours. I put the time and dedication into finding out where I can fit obliterate in, how it's beneficial, and how it actually works with my spec. And let me tell you, I put, I pumped up my DPS by another 15k. But the, and man, this is the but, point that I'm getting back to, man. Like, there's people like me. I don't have two hours to sit around and dick around doing that sort okay. of stuff. And that that's the sort of thing that they're that I'm saying. Like, this is why they have things like catch up mechanics, because people 
don't necessarily have the time to do that level but of research. But this is a game that takes time. But you, this is a game that takes time. Your technical mechanics are very minuscule in your needs, bloke. You can go in an LFR and you can go in and do mythic dungeons and get the minimum of what you need because you don't need the mythic stuff. So your catch-up mechanic is perfect for you. It's perfect for those who don't have a lot of time in game because you're not exactly. chasing that, that, the holy grail of gear. Hots no, is chasing the best in that's slot. That's what I'm saying. Like, for all of this thing. should definitely Right. be a part of the game. For I'm not sure. saying, like, I, I, I'm in agreement. Like, if you want to work, for, if you want to get Mythic gear and, and that high level, you should definitely have to work your ass off for it. But yeah. taking catch-ups out of the game completely, yeah, no. But how many times are they using catch-up mechanics, though? And how many people are using catch-up mechanics to play catch-up? And how many people are using catch-up mechanics, like what I'm talking about, to roll another tune to chase the numbers? Well, all right, and th this is the issue. It's it's not even chasing numbers. It's a mechanic that Blizzard put in that you almost have to have two DKs for, and we no longer have. All right, so I don't know if you've seen any of the Mythic fights, but Mythic Manoroth, you have Maybe those your Death Knights shouldn't down. have been botting. Well, that's not my fault, and it's not... Fuck. Well, it is just, Can we it's please act fault. like normal human adults in but a gaming it's, environment? It's still... It's, regardless, <laughs> if he if he got a new... If he got... If his house burnt down, and that's the boss that we're progressing on, you know, like, if he had to move across state or, you know, got a new job, whatever, if we do not have 2DKs, we are all of a sudden hurting and have a... Like, a almost a handicap... Well. Then you're not because of, you are. isn't there more than five million players playing this game? I'm pretty sure there's like a million Death Knights. Well, yeah, but at the same time, it's how many we're best and we're top on server by now one boss, but originally by if nope. if they hadn't have changed it, then we would be ahead by three bosses. And there are going to be those random few people that got really lucky with gear, and you know we could probably go back and get someone who's already a little bit heroic geared or fully heroic geared and hasn't stepped into mythics yet or maybe someone who's but where do we have recruitment from are we going to go to sargeras and try to recruit people off of there because who the fuck's going to leave one of the top rating servers in the world right. like no, what, no, don't worry what, because next next expansion they're going to be tracking all that server first stop so you'll be good well, it, it's, it doesn't matter. It's like all that's out the window. It's where are we going to go get a DK right now when we need one? And how do we know they're even going to be good? So it's... It, you yeah, know, you're not going to know if they're going to be good at all, actually. Exactly. So it's, no, it's, not, it it's not, not even it's chasing achievements. numbers. Okay. No, it's, it's not even about chasing numbers at this point. It's following mechanics to our benefit. It's not... You know, oh, we have to, you know, use this class to it, or it's exactly that. It's use a Death Knight to use Gorfine's Grasp to stack all the imps up, so we don't all die in a matter of three fucking seconds. It's, it's using things to an optimal setting. That's what elitists play for. It's not. I I've made Boomkin this entire expansion because Boomkins have always been sought after because we pulled really good single target numbers, and we pulled really good AoE numbers. Mm -hmm. I'm swapping because death, we need a Death Knight for a certain mechanic. I could go right, in there... He's or swapping Sox because he's changing to the whim according That's, to what's needed. Orsox's vertex doesn't work, does it? I refuse to change no, I to the never. whim and bend to the will of the gladiators who tell me that I shouldn't be destruction, that I should be a Oh, no, I'm not saying it wins. could be done. I refuse be done. to right. bend. Well, well I hold up. Saying. No, she's wrong. No, you're wrong. If, oh. if, 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 if they tell you that they need, a, they need two death knights, I'm not going to second guess those guys. Okay? I agree. Those guys I are agree. the kings of that world. I agree. If a gladiator tells me that I'm the wrong class to be thir three to to be rated 3,000, he's probably right, since he um, is 3,000 and he fights those not, people. I don't give two not, shits about being rated because I'm not going to change I will, I, I will be the first to say, if you are the master, if you are the best you could ever be, and you know that rotation like a computer's doing it for you, and you have the There's best so reaction time in the world. Mind. What's happening? I hear, cli I hear clicking. There's a clicking. In my mic? No. Nope. Keep talking. Hot Hot. You know what it is? Is it the fan? Oh, it's you. It's every time yeah. you talk, it's a click. Maybe try it's to. It's his. 
His mic's turning off and on. Guys, what, those of you that are watching, while we take a short intermission for him to figure this out, when I tell you it's been the worst month for tech issues, everybody has had a tech issue every different night. I'm so ready to set everything on fire in my house. It's unreal. Like, and for the fans bad. to know, we literally have had to cut in and out of this show nonstop tonight. It Which is they'll been know. a they'll riot. They'll be able to tell every time I chopped it. They'll know. Talk okay, again. At least, at is that better? At least time. Yeah, it's better now. Yeah, okay. something happened there. Okay, that was, in, that was in intermission, by the way. We're still recording. Hops. So, yes, oh. I want you guys to know that I do agree. If you should be to be the best, if that's what your get down is, if your get down is to be Elite Raider, okay, then change up because you're needed. I totally, I'm not saying I don't understand that because I do. I just like to tease people that do it because nobody's going to change me. God but, himself could come down and be like, hey, you're going to be affliction. I would be like, hey, I guess I'm going to hell because I'm not going to be affliction. <laughs> I'm going to play whatever the fuck I want to play, and that's going to be it because to me the end game is only good if I'm on my tune. It's only good right. if I'm on what speaks to my heart, which is my my Destro. But, but yes, I, I, get, I get it. I get it. We've beaten this. this the boss this tells thing you to change while, because you need it. I totally understand. I'm not saying I don't get it. There, that's two different types of players. We get it. Those we get it. But they need to understand. But they, the boss. But the boss needs to understand too. The guild master needs to understand too. As long as he's understanding that you're not getting drops, oh. and that has nothing to do with your work ethic in the game, you know he needs to just be cool. I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying. I had a very funny comment though. With us. You said even if your even if everything was like you like your computer was running it, didn't that get you guys in trouble <laughs> yeah. the first time? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's. Isn't that why we're here? <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. I mean, it wasn't even he was using it for his rotation. For as far as we know, he said that he just used it to pick herbs because he didn't want to buy them with his 500k. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's. That that's that's a debut horse. I mean, I technically offered. I was like, hey, I noticed that we're down a DK. My heart is into mythic rating. I don't really care what tune it's on, so to say. I would prefer to stay on a boomkin, but if the way we're gonna get Manor off down or the way we're gonna get, you know, this fight down is because we need an extra DK, I will gladly step up to down said boss because that's what makes me happier on the inside. I don't really care what tune it's on so to say right well having team players is definitely gonna get it gets the guild very far yeah especially because like, they know you're going to be there you can show up they know you can handle it yeah i get if, all of that if if we yeah, never I had I just don't want blizzard yeah if we never had someone saying hey you're not you have to play this or hey we need this and someone didn't want to play that what if you need a healer you ain't going nowhere without no healers you look, need five look. healers and you only have four well I would I argue this a little you. more. I would argue this a little more, but the truth be told, I have never been to the level of midwinter, and so I should just shut up. So, because I really don't know, and they obviously know what they're doing by asking people to change specs. Obviously, they it's been working for them. So, team play, teamwork, you know, really works. Agreed. So, super great discussions. Uh, I think there's definitely room for comments for everybody to give us your feedback. Tell us what you guys think. Um, keep in mind that our opinions doesn't make us right. Don't have to hate us. You don't have to love us. You don't have to do anything. Just know that we can all have opinions, and it's totally okay for us to have our own opinions. So go ahead and comment below and tell us what you think. Uh, also, But I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said something last week. About AIDS, I offended. I didn't offend, but it was a possible offense. I don't mean to offend people. Vomit comes out of my mouth on a weekly basis. It's just who I am. Love me, hate me, all those things all in one. He didn't get offended. He just said, but I mean it might offend somebody. But I'm going to go a week every week and offend somebody. It just is what it is. It's not my intention. I love all people and all things, even if you got the AIDS. So, uh, I'm getting, just, a, I'm okay. getting a whiteboard to put right there yeah. to list the But I don't, I don't mean it in any offense. It's just most of the time it's sayings, you know. It's a saying that we say and it's stuff that we do. But anyway, so my dog, the devil dog is now in here. This night just keeps getting better. Get out of my office. Literally, oh, the so devil cute. dog is in here. Okay, let's get to our weekend wow so we can uh, we can get to the – there's some some good announcements, some some sad announcements, some things changing, some some stuff happening. Uh, like in – oh, no, actually, let's start with Fryza. Uh, Fryza, we know you didn't play well this week, but we know that you have uh, some things you would like to tell the uh, listeners at home. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't been playing a while now for a couple weeks. I've been going through a lot of uh, time transitions and uh, working late night Uber. <laughs> and I finally got my job, as I said in the beginning of the episode, and uh, it's a nighttime job. And I will be working full time Monday through Saturday, pretty much. And uh, 
it is changing my whole life and I'm going down a, down a whole other journey that I've never been down before when it comes to this kind of a career. And so this will be my last episode on Punkcast. And it's been crazy. It's been, you said 88 episodes. 88 episodes. That's, yep. that's really crazy. That's been a long time, it seems like. That's a big achievement. Yeah, you've committed it was. To, you've committed to this show longer than you have some jobs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not funny. <laughs> but he's right. <laughs> so it's it's really it's it's it was been it's been a fun time. It's been crazy with the fans, and uh, I'm not gonna cry. But uh, and he's tried. Anyway. He's he's. I mean, he's been off and on. He's really tried, and I think this it's one of those moments where it's necessary. Um, so that he's not frustrated and feeling like he's letting us down and we're not frustrated because we're feeling like he's not interested when really he's just trying to do real life. He's trying to get paid that's and get laid. Literally, that's what he's trying to do. And <laughs> Literally. It's on the second one. You know, still where trying. the reason it, it's sad for us, not only just because, you know, you're a founding member, but you're the last connection that we had to Elida. That's it. So yeah. the good news is we've maintained... Elida's presence here from the very beginning, which, you know, he's the reason the show's even anything. So I think that part makes us sad the most is um, it's that last connection to you, to what the, the original thought process is. But I've I've worked really, really hard to make sure that I cultivate what Elida's, Elida's vision was for, um, for you know, for what he wanted Pwncast to be and, and the people that he wanted to reach. Um, so I, I think we're all equally sad um, that this is, you know, we'll see you for guest appearances and stuff like that. But Yeah, um, and, yeah it, won't be my, it won't be the last time you see me. At but, least once a month, I'll honor your presence and be like, Ash Ran sucks. I mean, <laughs> it sucks. Shit's broken. Fuck it. I'm playing we, Halo. We still have you and we still have your spirit animal. So Thank you. <laughs> so it's been crazy though. I can't believe it's, it's, it's... Out, I know for Will that's not Squirtle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like I'll just go let that slide. <laughs> Oh, the man. awkward well, silence. I, I, like, I don't know what to say. Those of you at I home, don't, don't be yeah. sad. Just know that life moves people in those directions, and sometimes you got to ride the lightning while it's there to ride, and sometimes you got to get off the ride. It just depends. Um, yeah. May the winds of change bring you back in our direction. It's not like you're dying. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't go to your funeral. You were dying because I don't like funerals, <laughs> but you know. probably be on a show day. Yeah, probably would to make it up. Yeah, and then I would everything. be angry. I'm like, seriously, he couldn't do it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but no, we're we're excited for the journey that you're going to take. Um, Thank you. Here, we'll make sure that we keep you guys updated. I'm sure he'll stalk the YouTube channel. Um, but uh, sometimes, yeah. sometimes real life has to pull you in a different direction, man. And we're uh, we're excited to watch you take your journey. Yeah, I'll let, I'll keep I'll keep you guys up up uh, posted. For sure, for you sure. Know, you guys will get the late, latest updates. So, so with uh, that well, sad news, I was just uh, being heavy. He's my brother going through my head. Um, we'll look it up later. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> like in what? Quietly thinking, thinking what did about you him do this week in Wow? Well, like me, I actually like ten minutes, fifteen minutes before we started the we, uh, the show, I actually got the fearless title through Terrace of the Endless Springs. Finally, got enough people gathered together, even though Richard wouldn't help me out. She's selfish. Um, she stabbed me in the back. She 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 made me summon her ass all the way to there. I think she just needed to summon a panda land. And then she goes, "Oh, I can't come in." So <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Um, yeah no, sorry about that. Did that uh, ransom? Here's the storm with uh, with bloke and also with some guy by the name of Gene, which kept insulting me the entire time that I was on the uh, Skype call with him. But he did promise me that unlike some other people that I call friends, would get me my moose mount. Um, so I am scheduled for that, but I don't know anybody who could get me the moose All fair and love and mounts. Mm. Yeah, see, see, and you, you talk about you not running with friends see? for mounts. And I don't. That's why none of you have mounts because I didn't bring you. I don't take friends when I do mount runs. <laughs> now, I caused you, Balasang, to miss out on a mount. The timeless Drake, I believe. So this mother sucker, keep in mind, it is, this had been three or four months of me farming the time, the endless proto, the time lost, pro, endless proto, Jesus Christ, the time lost proto Drake. <laughs> so what I would do is I would have my, my computer on here and NPC scan really, really super loud. And I'd be working because I'm right now, I'm speaking to you on my work computer. So I would do this all day, every day. And I'm this. I'm physically in game talking to Gildy's doing stuff. And Fryza gets on and he's like, "Let's do some battlegrounds." And I'm like, "No, I'm I'm I haven't seen 
the Vigrosa's body, so I, I need to kill Vigrosa because that's how I've been timing time losses by how many times I kill Vigrosa and how many times I kill Skull. Like, I'm timing it by the other the other NPCs. And he's like, oh, it'll be real quick. we will be in and out. We get out of the battleground, and I'm in Boar's Breath, which is where a good farming spot is. And my NPC scan goes off. I fly. There's a dead body. <laughs> Motherfucker. And I'm still on the Skype call, by I the way. I was with this so happened. angry. I was like, I hate. And he's like, great. Now you can do Battlegrounds with me tonight. Because you know <laughs> it was just kill. Awful. So, Bloke, we're not going to really do your week and wow so much. Because you have bigger things to talk about. I know you also had an announcement for our but, listeners and viewers. Besides stealing the life binders <laughs> I'll, I'll keep going with that because i don't think i did um no we've been alluding to it for a couple of weeks now that there's uh, there's an announcement of sorts to be spoken of and uh, the time has has finally come um we've had a, a an interesting year with illness and injury and um that's where a lot of our time and finances have have been uh, orientated but but now i can safely uh announce on the show that we're going to need a little bit of help uh, in July of next year as to uh, which which faction yes, Tiny Blue so yeah. yeah. finally need. talk about it. Congratulations. So we Look got, at those. Uh, yeah, I'm like, they're, they're literally the same size as, as my hand sort of thing. So we, You have we to place them, on the, place them on the floor in front and then... Where, just, whichever just way case, it goes just, to. Just in case we can't decide and we want to go by fractional, we we got Harry Potter as well. Oh my so god! So to the viewers yes. and, and listeners, you guys get to uh, you get to comment. You think Alliance or Horde? Uh, I want you guys to know that I've lived with this information since BlizzCon. I was very upset because I had planned on drinking uh, well, with Mrs. Bloke, see, and I didn't get to drink with Mrs. Bloke because Mrs. Bloke was. Knocked up because he doesn't know how to keep it in his fucking pants. So <laughs> I didn't get to do any of those things at BlizzCon because the from it, that's completely acceptable. So um, it, we we found out the uh, the first night we were in LA for BlizzCon. Um, so you know, technically, I'm still claiming it as a BlizzCon baby, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's destined. And, uh, yeah, well, that's it exactly. So uh, you know, he 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 or she is destined to be a little uh, little future WoW player. So that's um, I'm, I'm super pumped. And I I'm excited. I'm going to be an uncle. This is going to be a lot. Of <laughs> I'm going to be an uncle, and I'm excited. So I'm going to be like ma- mastering the arts of like playing with one hand and, and holding a baby with the other hand, and like changing nappies in the middle of a, a raid. And you know, it's only LFR, so it won't matter too much. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're, we're, we're super pumped, and, and there's the, it's it's been a rough road, and it's been a long year with with. Uh, the whole pregnancy, but we're there and we're happy. So I'm there you go. Excited for all the things, and I think that's pretty freaking awesome. So yay, baby! Uh, 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 I think Tiny Plug's yeah. an acceptable name, but I am. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to run that past Mrs. Book. Uh, apparently, <laughs> Arthur and Jaina were two not acceptable names for the oh, Really? Oh, Samantha's Jaina would have been great. Name though, great. Samantha's a great name. Uh, and, and remember, <laughs> Nathan means a gift from God. It's a yeah. lie. I, 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 yeah, no, I think I'll, I'll pass, guys, but thanks anyway. <laughs> well, we are super excited, so definitely a congratulations. Um, uh, congratulations. I just read chat where Fry's almost cried. What a baby. God. I, oh, my God. Uh, I totally almost cried. Yeah. Look at you. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Uh, Hots, what did you do this week? Um, I mean, we obviously DK. know what you did because you're angry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I came my DK. Uh, got Mythic Black Hand down again. Got the mount. Um, still progressing on Mythic Zul. Um, also another fight to have two DKs on. Uh, getting ready. Hey, for- hey, do you still have that rash from all that wiping? <laughs> it feels Ooh. like it feels like taco night in here every night. It's I think we've been working on it for two weeks now, maybe three. Good no, one. about two weeks, and I have close to seventy-five wipes on it. Jeez. It's not fun. So, That's awesome, though. That doesn't sound fun at all. Um, wow. Yeah. 
and and most of those aren't even below don't even go below fifty percent. So I um I didn't do I mean I the holidays just ended. It's always a super busy time for me. Holidays, I'm the I do all the the stuffs and things. I did get the minion of Grumpus mount. Um, Brudem was quite upset at me because we were on Skype. We were both doing the daily, and I got it. And she's like, ah! So she got it. She that? she has it now too. But I did get the uh, the mount. Uh, yeah, the giant. Yeti. She helps her friends get right. the mount. Hold on, that I just want to throw this out there. Probably. We were halfway to the Erico impression right there. Let's just kick no. it up another uh, notch no. and just. So that's up what I did. Off. That's what I did this week. <laughs> um, I'm not going to continue to tempt the tech fate since we've literally had to restart Dance this about tonight. 12 times. Uh, it's <laughs> been a it's been a rough episode today, guys. I do apologize if the quality is not uh, what it normally is. I'm going to do my best to make it where you guys notice just a little bit less. Um, we did have. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of news, so we didn't have a whole lot to talk about this week. Um, but we've got, you know, um, we've got things that are things that are changing. Uh, be looking for Pwncast is going to be expanding um, the Facebook group. Uh, we do have a Facebook group that we're working on getting off the ground. Um, the group will allow for you guys to open the banter back and forth with each other, um, the community as a whole. And we are going to be expanding the PwncastDailyQuest.com for Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, um, Hearthstone and Diablo. I'm actually working on that expansion as we speak. So don't, no plans immediately for podcasting or anything like that. Um, it's really important that we stick to what we know, which is World of Warcraft um, when it comes to stuff like that. But we are going to be expanding into the news arena for the other it's games. Because Overwatch beta stopped for Christmas. I know. Yeah. Other, Worst other time. I know, it was horrible. But we are, Pwncast is going to be expanding into the news aspect for those elements for you guys so that you guys can get the news that you need. Um, so a lot of good stuff happening. Uh, a lot of good good changes. Babies are being made. Guys are getting jobs. Careers are happening. We are freaking, we are in a, in a, in a, Meanwhile, I'm still here, so yeah. <laughs> there's Let's nothing happening me. in my life. I'm, I'm just here with you. Yeah, <laughs> by choice. The three of us, we got nothing really. There's no nothing going on fancy here. We're just me, like it in hots. We're just here along for the ride, letting everybody he, else with their fancy jobs battle. and their children and their stuff. I'm just raising babies and about to blow up my computer that's froze four times already behind me. So <laughs> we're excited. I mean, we're excited for the one, future. Whenever this episode's done. Yeah. With all the editing and whatnot, it's going to look like a kid with construction paper. Got yeah, and I, I know it's going to be <laughs> awful. But I did find out that I want to move my Bertha back to this side. I think I'm going to come back to this side of the desk because I like it over here. So I'm going to bring – this made me want to bring all my stuff back. So, uh, yeah. I'm okay. so glad I'm not your husband. I feel I so bad. He doesn't move any of that stuff anyway because he's not allowed to touch anything. I move it all. I could actually – believe that 100 he doesn't move any of that he doesn't do any of this we do any love of you doc I know. he's in there playing call of duty he's not even a real gamer he's a fake gamer um easy mastery so yeah that's pretty much uh that's pretty much the end Friza, we are gonna miss you on the show but we are friends in yes. real life so it's not like you know we can't call you on the phone and stuff we it's you know you we'll talk you're you're you are you know we are gonna be referencing you i'm gonna play you at least Two episodes oh, yeah. a month because that was just too. You got to watch last week's episode. That was too much fun. They, I had this whole these all these guys were all in an uproar. They were very upset. I want to talk about it. <laughs> and I'm like, just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I was like, this was, is not what an MMORPG it was, is. <laughs> it was almost to the point where she was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. This is a console game, man. Yeah, they were getting very frustrated. It was pretty fun. Uh, it was the ultimate That's role. great. Well, now I get to troll you guys. You so do. Now you really... get to, and you know, <laughs> troll it's, beyond the grave. it's, an, it's yeah. a funny element when you go to you when you watch the show and you're not on it. It's always a funny, mm -hmm. it's like yeah. a different element for you to kind of you get to be surprised. That's what happens when you get involved in stuff, then the, the stuff becomes less magical, I guess. When you work for Blizzard, the gaming isn't as magical as it used to be because then you know the you know all the background Don't say stuff. say such things. I mean, that's all. Every <laughs> guy, every <laughs> gamer, like every that. every Blizzard person Shoot. tells you the, you know, it's what did all the, all the CMs that have left, what do they say? Oh, you know, we wanted to have the magic back again, the magic of being able to play because we don't know all the secrets before the secrets come out. We don't know all the things. It's that magic in the background that you miss. It's um, a secret when it comes to them. Well, you know, what are you, they, playing they in they beta, it's... Yeah, um, beta's got to be interesting. But well, we're yeah. tempting the Skype fate right now, and we're tempting mm -hmm. the computer fate, so we're going to go ahead and get oh, yeah. the hell on out of here. Uh, Fryza, if you have your weird 
figurines. Now's the time to to bring uh, those out for one last joyride. It's like, uh, uh, not the figurines we were talking about before the show either. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Uh, let's see. I got. I got my. Uh, it's a special occasion, man. I should have bought the the Jenna Jemis from one out for you. I got wow. my niece's clo- uh, clothes. My niece's toys. Up here, and she can. Yeah, I got my niece's underwear in my closet. I don't say <laughs> I, I don't wear know, it all the time. Clothes, but I have clothes, it. clothes is kind of a bad idea to say. Let's see what I got up here. I got an Angry Bird. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> got a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> no, that's Blue Dragon. Angry Bird. I'm gonna I'll do some chop suey stuff to Dominic's computer to see if I can get Bertha going because I have Dominic's computer in here. I have a I have a toy for Belle. I have um I have Febreze and Lysol. <laughs> why why are you called it? You defiling stuffy. That's stuffy. Hey baby. Hey, I wonder if my voice will work. I'm not going to change my voices. That's I can't even be a part of us. We're no yeah. longer on a podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what the hell is happening. Uh, oh, once God. again, if you stuck it out through this whole episode, I do apologize for any tech issues that you're going to see in the playback. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to edit most of this stuff out, and hopefully it's a smooth transition. If it's not, I apologize. Please don't blame me. Hey. Blame Skype. Blame Obama. <laughs> blame the internet, because we tried really, really hard. If anyone that listens is a professional video editor, talk to this lady. She's going to need you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hold on. Wait, no, I spent 88 episodes. I spent 88 episodes perfecting this video, sir. I mean, sir. someone who does it eight hours a day, you know. Let's go to the I just, the same you, house, dude. Advice? Uh, you live in the same house. You live across the room. She's got uh, she can't God. burn me. At, that means she can't burn my house down because that would affect her. <laughs> I'll just burn your bedroom down. I know how to isolate it. I just, just I'm saying. Yeah. So we are going to get on out of here, uh, and we are going to go do things that we do. Also, David got me this shirt, Warlock. What? Awesome. What? Awesome. What? I'm not showing you my boobs. I'm saying shirt, Warlock. Just. Sorry, there was a miscommunication. Yeah. yeah that... <laughs> okay. He has bigger boobs than you do. Like, got to oh, go all out. Geez. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hey what guys. an exceptional way to finish the show. Hey guys. <laughs> My name's Trazzy and I'm a new movie trainer. You have amazing cleavage for a dude. If I hadn't seen your face, I would not know that you were a dude. <laughs> Welcome I'll to How to Catch a Predator. <laughs> I'll be your Uber driver. Wow. That, wow. There's so many things that just happened. I got to talk to Price's dad while we closed the show. While the, right now, the credits are rolling in the playback, and you guys are hearing the music. I got to talk to Price's dad, which I love his dad. His dad's name is Charlie. He's got the best parents in the world, literally. Well, that's yeah, I, every, everybody has good parents. But his dad was like, hi, I love you. And I'm like, I love you. <laughs> he's, he's so funny because he was he was just sitting on the couch like a dead man, and I go look it's 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 uh, balancing. He's all, oh hey! <laughs> <laughs> and then he took the phone from him and he's still talking. Have a great show. <laughs> <laughs> he's a. Weird.